You were also on Walker, Texas Ranger a bunch of times and involved in some projects with Chuck Norris. How did you become friends and business partners with him? Um, well, uh, well, actually, we met years and years and years ago at a karate tournament when I was a kid. He was, uh, he was, uh, he, he actually was really cool because he stopped, walked by, you know, Chuck Norris walked by, he went, oh my God, Chuck Norris. And he literally stopped, walked by, you understand, man, I was an awkward kid, man, you know, and uh, he stopped and goes, hey, what's your name? And I said, oh, this guy, Mesger goes, I saw you fight. He goes, that was amazing. And I was like, oh my gosh, I could have walked on water at that point. Chuck Norris just said I was amazing, you know, and I think I was probably about 14 years old at the time. And uh, it was like, awesome, you know, having that compliment from him. And then, uh, and then, uh, you know, he actually follows a lot of, 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 of uh, combat sports. And um, so he calls me up for his TV show and he goes, Hey, would you be this? Cause you know, we want to get guys in there. Like, you know, cause at the time I was like the number, you know, I was a kickboxer and I was trying to come up and up and coming in there. And so he was like, yeah, I said, would you be interested in doing the, t you know, the TV show? So I did. And uh, you know, basically I played a bad, I always played a bad guy, got beat up by Chuck. But, um, but, you know, then, uh, you know, and then flash forward years later, I'm retired. Uh, um, I'm, uh, I hadn't quite started working for Mark Cuban yet, but um, what happened was they called me up about Chuck wanting to do this uh, uh, World Combat League. And they, they basically hired me to, I was the league director. And so we did that until, uh, you know, until it was time for me to kind of leave. They, they were kind of going a different direction than I thought we should go. And I just didn't see it working out that way. And, and um, so I decided that it was probably a good idea for me to leave. And that's when um, I got the offer from Mark Cuban. And so it kind of worked out serendipitously. But Chuck's a great guy. He's always been very good to me. You know, even now, you know, he, you know, he, I'll, I'll talk to him every now and then. He's, he's doing well. And, and like I said, it was, uh, you know, it was kind of cool to, cool to be pointed out to that. That I looked great by Chuck Norris, and it was also kind of really cool that I got to work for Chuck Norris and work with him hand in hand in developing. So it was kind of a cool deal. Did you ever get the opportunity to train or spar with him? Not really. I mean, we did a little bit of goofing off during. Um, um, during we, we we trained just a, a little bit of jujitsu and stuff. People don't realize he's also a black belt in Brazilian jujitsu. So. Uh, you know, he, he's, he's one of those guys that did some wrestling as well as being a movie star and cry champion. He actually is a full, really true martial artist. I mean, he trains in, you know, he was a badass karate guy. He did a little bit of boxing training, you know, he knew the value of that. And um, obviously some kickboxing training. But um, then he, you know, he's a big fan of the Machados and, and was uh, got a black belt under under the Machados, which I, I find uh, extremely cool because he could have easily rest on his lulls of being a movie star. I think he was six-time world karate champion, but no, he goes out there and, and, and gets in there and gets dirty and gets, gets his black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. It's cool. Thank you for watching the Hannibal TV. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and click the subscribe button to not miss any of our latest shoot interviews, match videos, or news updates. Support us on Patreon.com for $1.99 a month to watch our full shoot interviews ad-free and help our channel grow. Follow us on Twitter at The Hannibal TV for instant updates.